All right, you guys. Well, today is uh, Wednesday, June 14th, and I just wanted to kind of show you what the kits and stuff that I got. So I got this uh, rain bird. This is just a landscape and garden drip kit. And then I also got this drip repair and expansion kit. Um, bought them both. Well, I, I think I might have got one. I think I got the uh, drip repair maybe from Home Depot because it was cheaper there. But I got that on Amazon. Um, and then I bought this extra, I think this is like an extra 50 foot of tubing. And it came with like this 25 foot tube. Um, that kit did. And then this smaller kit, you can see it comes with 200 and 50 foot of the quarter inch tubing so that one's the half inch and that's what is going to get the majority of the water over there and then we're going to use the small tubing um, to go to each of the plants and this the main kit also came with like 50 foot of this quarter inch tubing and i have no idea how much we're going to need or anything and these are like all the quarter inch parts and then this bag here has most of the half inch and I bought some like shut off valves because I'm going to want some for uh, different parts like I want one to turn it off for the watermelon because eventually as the watermelon gets closer to maturity you got to turn the water off anyways and then yeah I got some of this uh, pipe tape I got this little kit here too, and this is to do uh, inline fertilizer. So that this basically goes into a five gallon bucket, and this just gets installed at the time when you're installing your drip tubing. This gets installed in line so that you can just uh, send fertilizer through. So hopefully that'll work. And I'm hoping that I have enough fittings and stuff, but to be honest, I'm a little concerned. I might not have enough of these, you know, different half inch ones, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And these also come with it. And I think these ones are more like sprinkler type heads. At least that's what it looks like to me, or like sprayers. Looks like one is probably, I think, a, maybe a gallon. Maybe the other is two gallons. I'm not really sure. But I'm letting the tubing kind of sit out in the sun and get flexible, hopefully. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to have to dig a, a small trench and bury this probably unless I just run it along the fence there because I don't take the lawnmower out that way. Um, I use the gate on the other side. So we'll see. I might just run it along the fence for now so that I, in case I screw it up, <laughs> which is definitely possible. Okay, so these pieces here are kind of like the most important parts. So, um, I'm not entirely sure which one is which. I think this one is the backflow preventer so that uh, dirt, debris, and other stuff can't get back up into your faucet. And then um, one of these also has like a, a little filter i'll have to look it up and see then i think this one because i can see the psi on it um which is weird because it says 125 but it should be 25 i think anyways uh one is a water pressure regulator because if you put if you were to hook this directly into your water system from your faucet it would blow all of your connections because the pressure is just too high so, and I bought this, um, it's been plugged in here for a minute, but, um, I just got this, uh, little timer thing here. And then this will go onto here, and at the end, 
that's where uh, your half inch tubing goes on. So I'm going to get the pipe tape and do that. Okay, so I got that part on. And if you don't know, when you do um, pipe tape, just make sure that uh, you do it. If you're, um, if you're putting it on, screwing it on this way, just make sure you stay clockwise and uh, when you want to go with the thread um, or the way you're going to be turning it. Otherwise, it'll just take it off and it won't be any good. I've done that like a hundred times before. So, okay. And then this is supposed to, I don't know if it'll pop on here. Of course, the sun's down, so... Okay, so I was able to pop that on. I just needed uh, needed two hands because it's kind of tough to go on. And then this just like screws down over the top to hold it in place. So I need two hands again, so I can do that. All right, and then you just pull on it, make sure. Make sure it's tight. And then we'll see if it works. I guess we might as well be surprised together. Let me see if I can turn this off. My left hand is not very good at doing things. Turn that one off. Turn this one on. There's supposed to be a manual, but I don't know if it goes to, like, I'm not really sure. It's like I hear something. And unfortunately, my faucet drips a little bit. But it doesn't look like there's drips through the rest of the system, so that's good news. It's just, it's just this. I don't really know how to, it says manual here, but. Huh. Let me figure that out. Oh, it just came on. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's working, so, okay, step one. Okay, so I see, like, it's counting down. That's how long it's going to run uh, manually, but I turned it off because I don't need water pooling up over there right now, but good. It didn't blow the connection, nothing's leaking, so looks good so far. Okay, so it's kind of in its temporary home. I think just in order to keep being able to use that gate, I probably will um, just kind of bury it. But I'm going to wait till the end, make sure I got plenty of room and stuff. So that means I'm also going to kind of cut this, like right in this area. Um, just so that it's kind of got plenty of room up onto the fabric. And so that it reaches that first hole. And then I'll run it across. I'll probably actually need a T right there so that I can run more of it that way and then also this way. All right, so far I ended up putting a valve here so that I can turn the whole thing off if I need to. And then I put the T here. So this is gonna go somewhere in this neighborhood and there'll be a hose that goes off there and runs the whole length of this. And then I'll put the quarter inch tubing off into uh, each hole there. At least that's the plan. Um, and then the kit came with like a handful of these stakes. Not a lot, but I have extra stakes. But so I'm going to stake it down um, at least temporarily so I can kind of work on it as I go. And I'll probably just do it like this or something, I imagine. Not really sure. I suppose I should probably put it. Huh. I should probably put it a little bit out like this. Maybe. So that I have room for the plants to kind of grow and get bushy. So I guess we'll just do it like that for now. So when I get to like this row, since this is where the watermelons are going to be, I'm going to put another... Uh, valve, like I said, so I can just shut it off when they're almost ripe so I don't overload them with water, otherwise, they won't be very sweet. So, okay, I'll come back and when I've made a little more progress. One thing I'm definitely noticing is I need a lot more of this half inch hose. 
which is fine. Um, I couldn't, I didn't know how many rows I was going to need, exactly how I was going to do it. And so now that I'm seeing it, I definitely will need more. So originally I started putting the hose on down here. And I think I'm just going to like, like I kind of cut that off. Um, but I think I'm going to put one of these on the end because this is like how you stop, you know, like terminate the end of the hose. So I put one down here. So I'll show you. So one end just, it goes through, look at how dirty my hands are. So the hose just goes through one end, folds itself in half and comes back through. And uh, I'm just staking it one on each end. It seems to be holding it down just fine. Um, and then that too will give me a chance to uh, like poke little holes, you know, to put the smaller hose and the drip emitters and drip emitters and all that stuff in. So I'm <laughs> still working on it, but um, it's not that easy <laughs> doing it like as just one person. So I think though I'll have enough for the most part to at least cover the plants that are in the ground right now. And I'm just going to have to order more of this half inch hose and off Amazon. I think it's, yeah, I either got it from there or again, I might've got it from Home Depot. And on this edge, just for now, I'm, I had just one tea left over, but I decided to use an elbow because for right now, there's just going to be like the pumpkins here and I don't need to keep going, but I do have this other uh, tea so that in case I do decide to add another row of pumpkins, I can just um, switch it out. The only bad thing is like once you get the hose on there, you're not getting it back off. So you have to basically cut it and I had to take my little knife and slit it until I could uh, peel it off the fitting. And of course I had to be careful because I don't want to scratch the fitting and cause water leaks or anything like that. So I had to just take my time and, and do it. So that's where I am so far. Well, I got all of the as much as I had for the mainline run so far. And yeah, I probably, I'll just get, order a little more hose. And I tested it so far um, by opening this end and uh, did a manual run and nothing's leaking so far. So that's good news. So now I just gotta run. I don't know if I'll have enough emitters either. I gotta go in, probably count them out and uh, see if I have enough. All right, I'm at the point where I wanna start doing like the smaller quarter inch tubing. Let's let my phone charge a little bit. But what it looks like is these, uh, which are the little drip emitters, are actually gonna poke. Doesn't, does it look like, <laughs> These are going to poke into the half inch tubing and this is like a little, um, sorry, this is like a little uh, punch and this one is a one gallon and then this is the two. So I'm going to try to use the red ones on the tomatoes because the tomatoes are kind of a little greedier when it comes to water. And these are the spikes. It looks like the hose actually goes through the end of this. So let me try to do that real quick. I wish I had a stand or something for this. It'd be a little easier. Okay, so I assume that's how that goes. And then that little square piece is like a top cap that goes to hold these two together. Okay, so I put that little top cap on right there. But I think this was supposed to stay attached so that it just like didn't fall off or something. And then I think this little hose piece or this little 
thing fits on the top and then it looks like if you can see in this diagram this is like the half inch tubing right here and it looks like this part is gonna like poke into the tubing and um, one end of the tubing will go into there and then it emits through this little bit of tube that's then going to be staked next to the plant and it's actually going to come out one of the ends of these of this little um, fitting right here okay, so i squeeze it on there as much as i possibly can but so i think it it goes like that and then the spike goes in next to the plant and like i said this little fitting is going to go into like poke into the half inch tubing after i pop a hole with this little guy and then the tubing on this end i'll cut it the right length hopefully and then stick that on the the barbed end right there so let's go over there and see what happens okay since we're doing the peppers first we're going to use the little black one which is the one gallon um but we need to poke a hole in this tubing here so that we can stretch it across. I don't know how hard this is gonna be, especially to poke it in the side. So let's see what happens. Like I said, I wish if I had a stand, this would be a little bit easier, I feel like, but. Oh, look, it's kind of poking a hole already. So that's only one-handed. Now I read that you gotta be careful um, yeah, it's full of water from the test. But I read that you do have to be careful so that you don't go through all the way to the other side. So, uh, give me just a minute and let me see if I can poke this properly with two hands. Alright, so I ended up basically, I had to use my right hand because this my left hand is not very good. But I did like this until it went all the way into the first layer. And, and I guess I'm just going to pop this in which I think is what this little tool here is for but again it's kind of hard to hold this and do that at the same time but uh, let's see looks like this little hole Oops. sorry if you're looking at me knee okay so it looks like that little hole there is where you can pop that uh the little barbed end into, or not the barbed end. Well, it is, I guess, also a barbed end. Okay, I'm just going to try to push it in there. And look, it's in there. Feels good, I think, hopefully. Okay, so now, and this is probably the backwards way to do it because I've already got the, this part on here right now. I'm going to go ahead and poke it down here. I'm going to try to line it up. And twist that back. And, yeah, try to figure out how much I need to cut. I think I can do it, like, let's see. Make sure I have just a pinch extra so I'm not cutting myself short. All right, I might need my other hands. So I'll be right back again. Sorry, guys. Someday I'll figure this out. All right, I got it on there. It's. I'm glad I used two hands because there is no way that I would have been able to do that with just one hand. And hopefully that's the right way because, I mean, it seems like it, but and that's what the diagram shows. So I'm going to try to put... Some more in and I'm gonna have to do I don't know if I'm gonna have enough emitters emitters for this like I'm just gonna have to go down and because that plant's gonna need one and I'm just gonna have to like go next to it and do it again and hopefully it works out all right um, I'm gonna make some progress and I will see you back here all right this is what I got so far it's not perfect. I have to order, um, 
I have to order some more of those uh, steaks, I think. Because I don't know if it's okay for them to be just like sitting on the ground. It's not really how I plan to have it. We'll see you guys. I might call it here for the night. It's kind of getting late. I got to work tomorrow. And uh, I've been out here for a long time today. And it's starting to get really warm. So about ready to pack it in anyways, I think. So anyways, I hope this wasn't too annoying to watch or frustrating. It's, it's definitely going to take me a little bit to learn this and figure it out. So if you watched all the way through, thank you again. Appreciate it so much. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.